Once upon a time, there was a young psychiatrist called Hector. His world was uncomplicated. Neat and tidy. He took great comfort in its predictable patterns. Patterns his girlfriend Clara was happy to maintain. We live in a what's in it for me world. Do you know what I mean? And we're, we're destroyed by advertising and credit. You know, you're an idiot, you're a fool, you're a loser if you don't drive, if you don't wear. And you're even more of a fool if you don't borrow to wear, to drive, do you know what I mean? So we, we, it's sad, really, and I think the world is less happy. As Christopher Plummer's character says, everything in the world is going up except happiness. I need to get away. Will you be here when I get back? How long will you be gone? I don't know. He's fantastically nerdy. <laughs> I'm nerdy. Yes. I mean, I'm very Hectorish. It's a nerd renaissance, it's good. It's, it's good. a nerd renaissance. <laughs> he has a natural childlike curiosity about him. First time in China? Yeah. Business of pleasure. Research. I want to know what makes people happy. Let me show you happy. What are you doing? Are you a writer? A search for happiness. The film is full of those dictums, those yeah. little things. You know, seven were in the novel and seven we made up. It is so easy to look at them and go, well, obviously, you know, you could write that in a, a fortune cookie. Of course you could. Mm -hmm. Avoiding unhappiness is not the road to happiness. Yes, it's obvious. But we need to remind ourselves of that. You know, there's, there's that one that comes up that says listening is loving. Sure, it's a little new agey, you know, but if you really think about it, we're very bad at it, you know, this day and age. Business class. Economy. You. Bring it. Are you married? Um, no. Why do I get the feeling there's a woman out there in the world asking herself the very same question? Are you coming home? Not yet. I don't want absurd characters in absurd situations. I want real people in these absurd situations. When you do that, then you can have a scene like the woman dying on the plane in the same scene as basically Laurel and Hardy type slapstick coming from Simon. Do you know what I mean? You can do it all in the same film. Mm -hmm. I love to do it all in the same film. And the film is about that, that, that life is all of it. You can't stand a chance of happiness unless you're prepared to embrace all the emotions. I mean, it goes to a very dark place, and it has to, you know, because it's about the range. How many of us can recall that childhood moment when we experienced oh, happiness as a state of being, when everything was all right? I always started with the idea of this film that if you are sitting in a cinema watching this film and you have been able to afford the clothes you're wearing and the price of admission, you're already in the top small percent of the entire world. You know what I mean? So you have to... The Dalai Lama says happiness is a responsibility. I would go so far as to say that it's an obligation, if you think of it in those terms. You hold all the cards, Hector. 